arrested? I can be arrested for what? if you want. Don't put your hands in my face. I can be arrested Don't if you your want. Hands in my face. What's your face? You put your hands you in my better, face. You better, you better, right. you better even make your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. What are you doing here? I am preaching. You are preaching. I'm going to require you to go away. You can never. Okay, then I will arrest you for a breach of peace. Plain and simple. My what friend. breach of peace? It's what you're doing at the moment. You're causing problems, you're disturbing people's days, and you're breaching their peace. Okay, so to be, for that to be dealt with, if you won't go away voluntarily, we will have to arrest I you. I will not go away because I need to tell them the truth. Because Jesus is the only way. The truth. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life. I appreciate and that. Nobody. I appreciate that, but nobody wants to listen to that. They want you to go away. Oh, you don't want, want to listen to that. To you will listen when you're dead. You, you will listen when you are dead. You will listen. Uh, take me, take me. No, 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 no. Don't, don't take my Bible away. Don't take my Bible away. Don't take my Bible. I gave you the simple option. Don't take my Bible away. No, we're not taking it away. Before that, sir. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Whatever you like, you can even do. Whatever you like. Where do you park? Huh? We're not parked anywhere. We're going to go for a walk. Thank you. Hello everyone, <laughs> beautiful people out there. It's your girl Claire and I remain your girl Claire. Um, it's so good to have every one of you here, my subscribers, my viewers and everyone who has been here to support me. I truly appreciate you and I am glad to have you here on my channel. I also want to say a big thank you to you who is stopping by for the very first time to listen to my um, video or to watch any of my videos you are highly welcome to my channel is a motivational and an inspirational atmosphere where i encourage people with the word of god where i share the word of god you know to uplift you to inspire you and um it's all about purpose it's all about faith it's all about motivation it's all about inspiration and it's all about lifestyle you know i talk about lifestyle you know christian lifestyle and all that so today i am actually here to talk about um a video that i bumped into although it's um a past event though um it's all about a video that went viral some time ago um, about a Nigerian pastor who is a street preacher and he lives in the United Kingdom and he was arrested unlawfully on the streets while he was preaching for bridging peace. Um, I am actually doing this video today because um, I saw another video of him being rewarded, you know, by the Scott Yard police you know they were they, they were rewarding him for unlawful arrest <laughs> it's so funny you know well i don't want to take your time so um i'll just quickly say um i find it as in my view as regards his arrest i find it very very unfair that someone will be on the streets talking about god or preaching about his or her faith and that person will be arrested for bridging peace i mean there are a whole lot of things going on in the society in our society today and no one is arresting anyone for it but when it comes to the things of christ when it comes to the gospel when it comes to preaching the gospel of jesus christ i don't know why it, it offends a lot of people but i do understand because even our Lord Jesus Christ said it when he was here on earth. He said, if they hated me, you know, they will also hate you. So, I mean, and if, you know, they persecuted him, they will also persecute you if you are a follower of Christ. So, I'm not amazed, but I'm just trying to say, I find it very unfair that someone will go out there into the street to reach out to people who are still in the dark. I say it again, you know, that people, 
a whole lot of people are in the dark. And that is why the world is the way it is today. A whole lot of negativity, a whole lot of things going on in our society. And no one is saying anything about it. And people come out, you know, to the people who come out to try to address this issue with the word of God, with, you know, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, trying to make people turn away from their wicked ways, you know, or evil ways. And they end up being arrested unlawfully, you know, for bridging peace. I don't see, you know, any reason why this man should be arrested. Everybody has a freedom of speech. As long as you are not using a, a, a hate speech, you know, so this is the word of Jesus Christ. These were not his words. Whatever this man was saying, we are not the words, you know, his own words. They were words given by our Lord Jesus Christ and, you know, words that are in the scriptures. He was preaching based on what the scripture says. So I find it very unlawful that they arrested him for trying to reach out to people who are still in the dark, people who, who prefer to stay in the dark. I mean, the days are evil and the days we are in, they are getting darker. And a whole lot of people need to hear the word of God. A whole lot of people need to come to the light. Because if you are in the dark, then you, it's, you know, it's so obvious that you will do the things, you know, that people in the dark do. So this man was actually busy preaching the word of God. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't steal. He didn't kill anyone. He he didn't, you know, uh, disturb anybody. I don't see it as disturbances, you know, because he was just voicing out the truth. And I know the truth offends a lot of people. We are in a, in a generation today. We are in a dispensation where people like lies. People refuse to identify with the light. They would rather identify with the dark. And that is why if you're a truthful person, if you come out to say the truth, people won't like you because people prefer to remain in the dark because the prince of this world, the prince of darkness, has blindfolded them that they are not seeing the truth and they are refusing to believe in the truth. They are, you know, refusing to come to the light. So I find it very um, unfair that this man was arrested in the first place, you know, and detained unlawfully. And now the same police who arrested him, they are rewarding him with 2,500 pounds for unlawful arrest and detention. But they said he was bridging the peace of the people. How? I mean, I don't know why people prefer, you know, the things of the dark than the things of the light. I don't understand why anytime anyone is out there preaching the word of Christ, preaching the words of Jesus, pre preaching the word of God, you know, people are, are you know, not happy about it. Even though I know that's what the scripture said, even the prophets of old, even the apostles of Jesus Christ, they were persecuted. Like I said, it's the word of God. You know, it's bound to happen to every person who is truly serving God in spirit and in truth. Except you're, you know, 50-50, you know, you're in the dark and at the same time in the light, you know, in between. Or, you know, you, you belong to them. But if you are standing on the side of light, you know, I mean, a, a whole lot of things will just go wrong. The, the whole weight of this world will be upon your shoulders because the devil, you know, aren't playing with you, especially if you're a true child of God. So, I mean, seeing God um, vindicate this man today, you know, because I just saw the video today. I already saw the video of his arrest, which I put up here. You know, that's the video you are seeing right now. But the video where he was um, rewarded by the Scotiard police, Metropolitan Police, um, I can't upload it, you know, because um, I can't upload two videos at the same time, you know what I mean. So I am, I just cut out this part of where he was arrested, you know, just to show you people, the person I'm talking about, I think his name is Pastor Lu Wole, and he's a Nigerian, and he's based in the United Kingdom. I want to appreciate you, Pastor Lu Wole. I mean, I love your courage. I, I love your boldness, you know. That's what it should be. When you stand for the truth, you know, it doesn't matter who, who is against you. It doesn't matter. Even if you have to stand alone for, for believing in the truth, if you have to stand alone for you know, what you believe in for your faith. 
then stand alone. So I, I am so happy, you know, I, I was very happy when I saw, you know, his this boldness, you know, and this courage. He's, he's very courageous, you know, he's a very courageous man. And um, thank God today, God has defended him. If, if you don't have anybody because you're saying the truth, it doesn't matter. God will always defend you. He is your defender. You don't need a whole world to stand on your side, you know, when you believe in the truth or speaking about the truth or talking about the truth the gospel of our lord jesus christ is the gospel of truth so if it offends anybody then you are doing the right thing because the bible makes us to understand that, that the word of god rebukes it reproves and it's corrects so if people are being offended you know by the word of god that means they are still in the dark because if you are in the light then the word of god does not you know when you hear it you you you're glad because when you hear the word of God, you are inspired, you are encouraged. So except someone who is not yet in the light, when you hear the word of God, you get offended. And that's what the Bible says. You know, a lot of people will be offended by the word of God because it is truth. And the kingdom of darkness doesn't like the truth. So I appreciate you, Pastor Oluwole. I don't know you in person, but I love your courage and them. Um, we just have to stand for the truth, people. I am just here to share my view on this. The truth is that whatever it is, you know, um, it, when it comes to the to the faith, the things of God and your faith in God, stand for what you believe. Don't compromise your faith for anything in this whole wide world because there's a life after here. That's the truth. People might not understand it until someday when all is said and done and you stand before the almighty God and you will understand. So I am actually, you know, glad that he stood um, for what he believed in and he made them to understand that this is, you know, my life. I need to preach this word of God. People need to hear this because this is about life and death. A whole lot of people are on their way to hell. A, lot, a whole lot of people are, you know, riding on the wrong road so they, they need to be cautioned they need to be warned you know before it's too late i mean the gospel of our lord jesus christ is a gospel of love because god does not want anybody condemned god does not want anybody doomed you know so he this man was just trying to call the attention of people you know to the truth and to the word of god you know before it's too late so i appreciate what he did there and um thank god for Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercies and thank God for vindicating our brother. So I am talking to you right now. If you're listening to me, I please ask you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God and that only those who believe in Jesus Christ shall be saved. If you don't believe that you will be condemned, please Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior so that you can have eternity with God. I love you all and please don't forget, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. God bless you and we will see you again. Bye. Alone. That is who you are, maker of 
the universe Comforter, teacher 